Hello, welcome to DPR Live. My name is Steve Diogo and I am the Digital Media Director at Advanced Star Dental Media and Dental Products Reports. Um, we are here today uh, for a conversation with Dr. Juan Carlos Quintero. Uh, we're going to be talking a little about 3D imaging, about the Congress on 3D imaging, which will be coming up in October in Boston. Um, so Dr. Juan Carlos Quintero is an orthodontist in South Miami, Florida. He's immediate past president of South Florida Academy of Orthodontists and a former president of the American Association for Dental Research. Dr. Quintero has won numerous national research competitions, has published extensively in peer-reviewed journals and lectures frequently nationally and internationally. During the 7th International Congress on 3D Imaging, which will take place October 25th and 26th in Boston, Dr. Quintero will lead a breakout session called Freaky Threes, the Management of Difficult Impacted Canines. The Congress itself uh, is an event that provides a unique opportunity for current 3D users and those considering 3D technology to learn from experts and colleagues through lectures and demonstrations on real 3D applications in dentistry. The event is sponsored by ICAT and Henry Schein Dental and will offer 11 CE credits. At this event, you'll be able to get perspectives from knowledgeable industry research, and more importantly, your own colleagues, and find out how real doctors are using 3D in their practices. So Dr. Quintero, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Um, doctor, can you tell us a little about your presentation at the Congress and what attendees can expect? Sure. So as you stated, the title is Freaky Threes, which is really about managing management of uh, more difficult impacted canines. Um, so the the history of cone beam um, in orthodontics really started with with difficult cases like impacted canines. Um, so for about eight years now, we've been doing um, we've been we've been treatment planning our impacted canine cases exclusively, every single case with cone beam um, technology. So really, that means we have eight years of of data. Um, so in that time frame, we've been able to accumulate some really bizarre, interesting um, cases that we've that we've very carefully documented um, with with scans, progress scans, um, and, and photos. So what I've done is kind of collected um, some of some of the the my favorite cases, the ones that have been the most unusual and, and fun to treat. And I'd like to at this presentation to kind of just share that experience with with colleagues and go over. Um, not only um, what we've learned in eight years, um, but also uh, application, how we manage the data, how we use software, how to perform virtual movements of teeth, and in essence using uh, technology to decrease treatment time, um, increase uh, treatment mechanics uh, efficacy, um, improve the informed consent process with patients and and really get them to 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 understand the nature of their of their treatment and their options and uh, as a result um, we have we experienced a much smoother uh, execution of the treatment plans and so it's really it comes to the heart of this technology and the title is kind of bizarre just because they are kind of unusual and um, and freaky uh, canines so that's the title of, of this lecture love the title I think I want to put it on a t-shirt. Um, doctor, can you get a little more specific? Just, I'm always intrigued by 3D technology and how it's changing diagnosis and treatment. So how in this specific case of Freaky 3s um, has 3D really made a difference? Yeah, well, it's huge. You know, our, our anatomy is three-dimensional, first of all. And um, the, one, the one element that's been missing in traditional diagnosis has been that third dimension, the, the, the one of depth. So using, using um, traditional imaging such as uh, a panorex or, um, or periapical films, we were really lost as to where the, what the spatial um, orientation or relationship is of these structures. So, um, you, you know, impacted canines really comes to the heart of, of where, where the, the juice is for, um, uh, for, for improved patient care. And it was an interesting experience because I quickly learned that the cases that were receiving the best treatment and best care were these more difficult cases um, with impacted canines, and I soon I soon realized why should why should the um, the non-impacted canines not benefit from the same um, insight that we get using three D technology? So, okay. Um, 
Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, you'll be presenting on this topic at the 7th Annual Congress on 3D Imaging. Um, you've attended this Congress in the past. Um, what are your thoughts on the Congress, and uh, what's the value? I have, Stephen. Like, like most dentists and, and, and colleagues, we spend a lot of um, resources traveling and attending CEs and, and learning. Um, so, so I think people can relate that um, uh, you know we go to these meetings and we usually have pretty high expectations when we spend the kind of money and, and the time that we invest um, attending these lectures. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a repeat customer with these symposiums. I've um, attended most of the most of the um, congresses, both as a um, as an attendee that sits in the in the um, audience and listens, as well as as a speaker and. Um, you know, I can tell you that I have probably learned more um, uh, being a student of this, uh, speaking and uh, being a lecturer than I have sitting in the audience because the the engagement, the interactions are are remarkable. Um, it's a it's a very progressive um, meeting. We're talking about uh, very cutting edge, um, pretty much the best technology out there, I think, in both orthodontics and dentistry. So the people that attend are people that are like minded. Not necessarily advanced users um, all the time. We um, have um, relationships there with novices, people that are just getting into cone beam, maybe thinking about getting into cone beam. They're on the fence. They want to learn more about it. To to very advanced speakers. I mean, there, you could be sitting next to one person that's completely um, new to this on on one side, and then on your left side, you could have. Uh, somebody who's written books and, and, and articles on the subject. So it's a really wide variety of people. Uh, it's a two-day experience. Um, it's filled with lectures and, and live demos using real 3D imaging applications. Uh, as you said, it's sponsored by ICAT and Henry Schein. So there are, there are plenty of vendors. Um, there, there are staff, if you want to bring staff. Um, there's a lot of uh, mingling. Uh, some of the best learning takes place uh, in between the sessions during the social events. Um, so there's general sessions and then there's breakout sessions and the topics really range from implant dentistry to oral surgery to orthodontics um, to airway um, evaluations. Um, and what I love about this, uh, this Congress is they always seem to have at least two or three lectures from oral and maxillofacial radiologists which is um, it's a very important subject if you're going to be using Comeem. So it's, it's a very all-inclusive uh, symposium really. I'm always <clears throat> fascinated at dental events like this, that it, that it is the, the energy that comes out of dentists getting together and getting it, <clears throat> excuse me, being able to share their experiences and uh, what they've learned. Um, I think it's, it's obviously most dentists are, are alone in their practices and this is a, a great way for them to get together. Definitely, definitely. You know, and it's always, it's always uh, so much easier to be forthcoming with information when you're talking to somebody who's not in your competitive neighborhood, right? And so, you know, you could be talking from people to in Alaska, California, Maine, uh, Texas, and they could be a specialist, they could be a general dentist, um, but everybody shares the common interest and, and love of technology and interest in, in 3D imaging. And so, you know, at the end of the day, everybody that's at these uh, Congress are people that are looking to improve the quality of care that they provide for their patients. And I think that the real benefactors of, of this type of, of, um, of environment are the patients. Mm -hmm. Now, 3D imaging certainly is not main. Uh, it's, it's making great inroads, but it's certainly not in every practice. Um, why is it important for dentists to learn about 3D at this point? Great question, and the simple reason is because there's no stopping technology. Uh, that's the great thing about comp uh, competition and, and industry is, is there's all these forces making products better uh, and safer at the same time. Take, for example, uh, the unveiling of the iCat Flex, which is, I think, going to be um, a highlight of this meeting and one of the number one reasons, I think, to attend. Um, I think this iCat Flex is going to be a game changer. Um, like I said, there's no stopping technology, but more than ever, I think with the iCat Flex and the uh, incredibly safe and low levels of, of radiation, um, people really need to think twice about about buying a pano or buying the SEF, at least in, in, in orthodontics. So I can see the iCat Flex in particular 
being the one product which changes the landscape in orthodontics in the next five years. And I'm sure um, they will set the new standard in, in the industry for other manufacturers to follow. Okay. Yeah. And where do you see the role of 3D for the general practitioner? Well, I think as, as time goes, um, the, the, the truth shall be known. And the nature of our anatomy is 3D. And patients are, um, are, are informed patients. And 3D is in the air. It's, it's, in, it's in the movies. It's in, it's in the TVs. It's in the food that we eat, the water that we drink. Um, so patients are pretty savvy people. And it's, it, they're, they're, there's constantly newer generation of patients coming in that, that are very computer uh, literate, and patients will soon expect um, having having the latest technology at their at their dentist's office. And so, um, you know, I think industry is driving a lot of these changes. Um, but at the end of the day, if it doesn't help the patient, um, there's not a place for it. And I think that's what these lectures are about. We're we're listening and learning from our peers on how 3D imaging is allowing them to deliver better quality treatment. And that's what we learned. That's that question is actually at the heart of, of why we should attend uh, these, these symposiums. Okay. Well, I know, Dennis, patients today are certainly better educated. They know much more about what good, what the outcome of good dentistry looks like. I think they also know much more about what a good, well-equipped dental practice looks like and what the delivery of quality dentistry looks like. So I find it exciting to see the adoption of technologies like this. Yeah. Yes, and you know the nature of this technology too is very, uh, you know, it's very visual. So you know, it's always been a challenge to get patients to understand um, their problems and their solutions in a way. And we, we've, we've always used um, illustrations and pictures and drawings. And orthodontists do a lot of this and this with, with their <laughs> angles of their teeth. Um, but it's absolutely amazing and remarkable when you sit down and review a 3D volume rendering to a patient. Um, you know, they say they say uh, a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, you know, a cone beam scan and, and a 3D replica of their anatomy is probably worth a billion words, and and patients just get it because because of the nature of, it is so visual. Right. Well, Dr. Montero, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? I hope to see a lot of you there, and you better hurry up and sign up fast because I'm sure this is going to sell out. And I believe if people stay tuned, they're going to be receiving a code that will give them, um, I think, like $250 off admissions price. So uh, hurry up and sign up, get your reservations, and we'll see you there. Thank you, Steve. Fantastic. Well, remember, Dr. Quintero will lead a breakout session at the 7th Annual Congress on 3D Imaging, which will be held October 25th and 26th in Boston. You can register for that event by going online to www.icat.com. That's the letter I-C-A-T.com. And here's that special code we were talking about. If you enter the promotional code HANGOUT250, HANGOUT250, you'll receive $250 off the admission price. So I will be there. Dr. Quintero will be there. I hope to see many of you there. Uh, thanks so much for joining us.